Have you ever planned a trip to go out of town or across town or out of state or out of country and you're so excited or maybe it's vacation and you're so excited and you get everything ready and then something happens and then you're like, oh no, I don't know if I'm going to be able to go or not. Has that happened to you? How did that make you feel? Were you stressed? Did you have an anxiety? Do you have fears? Our brain, our soul, and our body, our temple, and our spirit, our heart, our core of our being, can be sad or frustrated. And expectations is usually in there. Expectations that you are planning to go. And it's okay to have good expectations, but things happen. I'm going through that right now. I'm planning to go on vacation after two years. My personal clients know I haven't left the house very much since I have Cooper. They're encouraging me, yeah, you need, you, you need to go. So a few weeks ago we planned a trip and then something came up and so we need to wait a little bit longer and be patient. And through Jesus, I ask God for patience and I need to be okay and you need to be okay. I'm giving you an example for you. You need to be okay if something comes up and it's not planned that you're okay with the outcome, if it happens or not. If you are not happy with whatever happens, I mean, things come up in life. If you're on going on vacation and something comes up and you are is out of your control, all you could do is pray and pr pray, God's will be done. God, if you want me to go on vacation or on a trip or wherever it's at, let it come to pass and tell me what I can do in this situation so I can have the peace of you, God, in my heart. As humans, when we have unmet expectations, we can easily get frustrated, disappointment, discouragement, anger, rage, impatience, and then it just goes on to rejection, neglect, abandonment, or some other kind of cluster of sins, and then we get all stressed out, anxiety, fears, and fear of not able to go, and all this stuff, and then next thing you know it, it's hard to hear from God because your soul, your brain, your body, your temple, and your heart, your, the, the real you, the core of your being, your spirit, is all confused and stressed out. So I highly recommend if you're planning to go on vacation or on an ex exciting event or something you're looking forward to, just keep giving it to God, praying God's will, and be okay if something happens that's not in your control okay that way you will not be stressed out in fear and anger and impatience and cranky so that's what i'm going through and i'll keep you posted i just pray god's will be done and i cancel all assignments from the pit of hell they may try to prevent that but there's some things that when it involves with other people you need to pray for those people don't be don't be selfish don't let your soul be selfish me 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 you pray for the other people involved in helping you out house sitting or, or pet baby sitting or people covering for you at work you pray for those people okay and just release it god i release my event or trip to and then whew, i release it i give it to you and I release and, and forgive all the parties involved just in case something came up. Maybe a loved one was going to babysit for you and they couldn't. The object is to stay focused with Jesus and to have peace in your heart and keep praying, of course, but not get stressed out because it's hard to hear from God when, when our brains stresses out and then it clouds our spiritual judgments and physically and mentally and stuff like that. So, release, remember, expectations. You can find more information about this, not only in my published workbook, Come Near to God, but also in these videos, okay? Because I want you to take those trips and vacation. If I don't get to go, I don't get to go. You're the righteousness of God. You're worthy to go on the trips. And when they're unmet expectations, you're responsible to give it all to God, let him have it, 
so you can continue to go forth. You're the righteousness of God and you are worthy and release all those frustrations and disappointments and anger and rage to God. He can take it and he's the only one that does want to take it from you. So you and him could be close and you can experience his love supernaturally daily in Jesus' name. I want to give you an update. Today, three days before my vacation, I found out that the people can help me babysit my pet babies. And I'm very happy. So I'm continuing to release it. I know it's only in a few days, but I'm being positive, but no high expectations. Just, hey, if I go, God's will be done. If God wants me to go or not to put it in everyone's heart. And I cancel all the assignments from the pit of hell that may try to prevent God's will be done. You could say stuff like that in your prayers. God's will be done. But here's an update three days before supposedly leaving in Jesus name. And there's a lot of things going on, not just regular, oh, I got to pack and do this and this. I mean, there's just other factors, but through Jesus, he's involved and he's involved in your life and do not be discouraged soldier keep pressing on guys will be done and i'll keep you posted and yes i mowed i made it i made it to cozumel so in these short clips i talk about expectations i didn't know if it was going to go or not that something came up they couldn't help and that going on and a lot of things happened and i was god do you want us to go to cozumel or not because we, we don't go out often i don't get out of the house often and it's good you know to travel again so made it to cozumel didn't have any expectations whatever god wants and he lined everything up same thing with you when you have expectations they can hinder but if you say, God, if, if I'm able to go, if you already pay for the trip, like our case, we paid for the trip. We got the horse sitter, the cat sitter, the dog sitter, all this stuff lined up and paid for it already. They changed our flight uh, around 10, 30, 11 the night before. So here I am trying to, you know, pack, you know, finally and get all this. It doesn't matter the time and energy and the money. It matters if God wants you to go and if it's the green light to go. And we made it and it's amazing. To me is a few miracles here and there just to get here but no expectations i had expectations it, it's going to happen and da, da, da. then i'd be disappointed with the flights and everything else is, that we've been going through you gotta be okay if, if it's going to be god wants us to go or not and when you have no expectations and it does happen it feels like merry christmas happy birthday to you guys will be done in your life in any area of your life that you have any expectations, ask the Holy Spirit, he will help you and you can repent and release because it could accumulate your, your negative thoughts and emotions to sin. Keep it up, it could be demons, Christian or not, deal with it. It could be frustrations, disappointment, discouragement, anger, rage, or patience, and it goes on and on and on. And her feelings, rejection, neglect, abandonment, it's like a domino effect. So it's important to stay on top of expectations so then all of a sudden you won't be upset or you'd be so disappointed. So no expectations until next time. You're the righteousness of God. We're home. We're family home. Cooper got in yesterday and the trip was awesome. Cooper met some new friends while I was on my birthday trip. He didn't want to come home. And I saw one of my old friends, my classmates. I've known him all my life. I haven't seen him since 1988. My husband and I and him hung out and we had a great time. I didn't want to leave the beach, but we did. And we had to release expectations. We almost missed our flight in Houston, of course, but we didn't. We just kept on praying, giving everything to God. It all worked out. But I just want to show you that I had to go through the same thing you're doing daily, expectations. I had expectations I had to get rid of that I had towards Cooper and 
the, hor the new horse sitter and our cat sitter. And I just had to release everything. I mean, yes, I, I thought about them the first few days on vacation. And then I, just had, I was sad because I missed them and I had to focus. Hey, I'm on vacation. I'm here in Mont Cozumel. I need to enjoy this. And sure enough, they, they had a great time. I had a great time. And I just want you to know that expectations are in every area of your life. But it's up to you to have expectations or not. Remember, when your expectations are not met, that's when you repent, release, forgive, renew the mind, soldier. So, we do have expectations that God's going to take care of us. That's good. That's a good expectation. God, you take care of me. I don't know what I'm doing. I need help. Things happen. You need to adjust. Keep giving it to God. I gave you these clips as they were happening, so you know I'm not just talking. It. I'm doing it. Went through it. Put, gave it to God. It's all good. And that's the same thing with you. Whatever you're going through, vacation, workplace, relationship, friendships, living situations, whatever it is, financial, whatever it is, you keep giving it to God, trusting in Him, depending on Him, and your supernatural love you have for God as a connection. It's like a recipe, different ingredients, you put it together, and then any time your brain, your soul, your body, your temple is irritated because unmet expectations, you repent, release, forgive, renew the mind. So here we are back in Texas in the heat. I miss the ocean. Cooper misses his new fr lady friends. And, but, we focus on Jesus, we continue to move forth, and we just thank you for following us through this journey so I can show you expectations could be anything and everything. So, back into my ranch clothes and carrying and covered up. I hope you enjoy the new videos I made in Cozumel. I was only gonna do one or two, but then I realized they want to see the beach and beautiful God's creations there. Then seeing me looking rough or seeing all the cactus and thorns behind me, right? That's a better scenery. So I hope you enjoy those videos. If you want to continue in the healing and different process with me or my Come Near God workbook, I highly suggest these videos. They will help you. I'm not getting paid. I'm doing this on my own time and energy. It'll help you. In Jesus name until then just know you're the righteousness of God and you're worthy and the Holy Spirit will help you it to learn if you have expectations or not until then you say bye yeah he's thrilled <laughs> to be back to work <laughs>